Have you ever heard someone explain a strange circumstance on water? Such as a small town who has a freshman basketball team and every single player is at least six feet tall. Or in a neighborhood, there are three sets of twins that were born in the last two years. There must be something in the water. In the first reading, God sent an angel to the prophet Elijah to provide a hearth cake and a jug of water. Sent him twice. And what does it do for Elijah? He walks 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Horeb. There must be something in that water and in the hearth cakes. These days, people not only seek a boost from coffee, tea, and soft drinks, but also from energy drinks and power bars. There must be something in them. Well, I looked up the ingredients, and they are many. But basically, for energy drinks, um, it really is caffeine that accomplishes the same thing. And there's vitamin Bs and things like that. And power bars have various processed forms of proteins and syrups and sugars. Power bars and energy drinks typically promise about a five-hour boost. But that hearth cake and jug of water provided a boost for 40 days and 40 nights. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks about the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. And he promises, whoever eats this bread will live forever. That's quite a boost. What ingredients are in this bread? Well, divinity in its fullness. Humanity in its fullness, love in its fullness, saving truth in its fullness, eternal life in its fullness. Jesus says, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Now, coffee, tea, soft drinks, energy drinks, power bars, they're going to have their full effect on the human body, whether we believe they're going to work or not. But Holy Communion is a little different. Just as we need to believe in Jesus Christ in order for him to have a full effect in our lives, so also we need to believe Holy Communion, the Eucharist, is Jesus Christ in order for communion to have the full effect intended in our lives. Because Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. So if anyone comes to receive Jesus in Holy Communion without an active faith or belief, it won't have its full effect. And to be honest, I think pretty much all of us at some time in our life have kind of experienced communion time as church is almost over time. And we've probably all experienced when the prayer after communion and Father says, "Uh, please be seated for a special announcement. I thought we were almost out of here. The angel of the Lord told the prophet Elijah, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. At communion time, we are told, essentially, Get up and eat and drink, else the journey of life will be too long for you. We need to get up, we need to walk up, and we need to receive communion with faith in Jesus Christ. The prophet Elijah believed in God and God provided a mysterious bread and drink and was able to walk for 40 days. 
there must be something in that water. We do believe in Jesus Christ, and we are given a mysterious food and drink for our life's journey. There is something very special in these heavenly gifts. When we receive Holy Communion, we are receiving Jesus, his divinity, humanity, love, saving truth, and eternal life in its fullness. Receiving the sacra sa sacramental food and drink isn't some magic potion. We must continue to believe even more firmly and faithfully than we did yesterday. And we must receive believing that Holy Communion is Jesus Christ in order for it to have its full effect on our lives.